going on guys welcome back to the channel hope you guys are having a fantastic day um today we're on our way to go get some 35 inch tires put on the truck so i'm pretty excited uh to see how it really transforms the truck with the 35 so and i know some of you guys have 35s on it and the truck looks amazing i can't wait to see it in person but first off i really want to start off with saying thank you guys you guys have been amazing and you know I, lately i've been getting to really know you guys and i've been talking to people all over the place and it's incredible to me and how well youtube really brings people together and you know i've been talking to people up in canada uh, rhode island new york florida texas colorado uh, i think one of you guys is actually from um or is it um, New Mexico uh, and California? I mean, realistically, you guys are really spread out all over the place. And it, to me, it's incredible on how spread out we are and we all have a lot in common. It would be amazing to get everybody together and do some wheeling and uh, maybe have a beer around a campfire. Um, but today's video was all really a suggestion from my last video. And it was an interesting topic and, and you know and it was actually uh, suggested by Travis who lives down in Texas um, after watching Guff Meister's off-road page I'm gonna leave all the links in the description down below uh, Travis pointed out something that was concerning from Guff Meister's off-road and you can see how I'm gonna put pictures right here his rear diff is open because he ended up getting water in it and after I saw that video too I was like you know knowing my experience and stuff like that um, we need to ex extend the uh, rear diff tube when you're actually really zooming in on his On the photo right here. You see on his uh, breather tube. There's no valve or so-called membrane um, on top of the breather tube if if you see my last video go check it out and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about um, I Showed you guys on my ZR2 my breather tube or ugh, I showed you guys how on my ZR2, my breather hose was secured with just one zip tie, making it really easy for the valve or membrane um, to really come off. I mean, it, I really didn't pull too hard on it. Um, and you know, when we're off roading, you know, things get in places that get somewhere that you know you, you don't think is going to get, but stuff ends up getting into the wrong places. So like a stick or a mud or just, you know, going through water, the pressure of that, you know, just pushing on it could have easily popped it off or whatever, you know. The, the interesting part that this video actually gained some, actually some notice, which is incredible to me. Um, it, you know, and somebody actually emailed it to a car reviewer who sent it to actually GM's communications. I'll screenshot what he puts, what he actually put on my page. Um, but if you know anything that GM communication, is, it's basically like tech support. Um, you know, calling and hopefully that whoever you guys get knows what they answer because they're just looking on the computer and you know, he claims that they're engineers, but engineers are putting their notes and hopefully that they give you the right answer. And which, you know what he put on my thing is actually I mean I'll, I'll say it's it's good information I'm not gonna you know say he didn't do his thing in response to his original video but he the reviewer does apologize on his live feed with um, all terrain nation went too far with the do-it-yourself stuff which is unfair to him I shouldn't have done that I apologize for that um, he's not calling me out but my face and my YouTube name are front and center right what he's talking about um, the reviewer, somebody emailed him telling him that this is a huge issue. You know, GM is going to have a huge warranty claims, um, you know, and kind of some kind of nonsense. Of, I never said that in my video. You can go back, watch my video. Um, I never portrayed it as a major problem or a dumb flaw. I simply expressed my confusion about GM's design choice, really. Um, you know, from my off-roading experience and basically almost a decade of working for FCA, here's a little funny clip from when I worked there. The hose that I modify was preventative maintenance or preventative measures due to I don't want water in my diff. Um, in that 
original video, he repeats that I'm calling GM dumb without understanding the aftermarket and why off-road enthusiasts modify their rigs. Well, while I will say that probably majority of people that may own a ZR2 may not even take their trucks off road or it may take like maybe some just some gravel roads or just something not really too extreme um, but the, for the people that actually take their stuff off road and not just easy easy little trails this is why aftermarket is around why these aftermarket companies actually exist because they find these flaws in such a an actual good vehicle that there is always a flaw with the vehicle so they are finding their flaws and helping basically GM to create something better and I love this truck to be honest and then he goes into discussion about warranty um, or Magnus Magnuson Moss Warranty Act um, I'm gonna leave the law down in the description it's kind of pretty vague uh, but I'm gonna give you guys a very kind of short I'm gonna give you guys basically a really short you know of it it's basically they have to prove that the aftermarket part you know actually caused that issue um, you know from my experience from heavily modifying my Jeep I've gotten a lot of warranties claimed and being very successful I've had I've had about two that I wasn't able to but most of my heavily modified Jeep that I had I got a lot of warranties covered and also another thing with the warranty, the dealership actually comes into play. I mean, the dealership is actually how they write it in the system. Um, you know, if if you're good with the dealership and they're good with you, I'm sure they can work around some aspects of it. But again, some dealerships are hard harder than others, um, which is kind of a shame. But it really comes down to you know money. Here's the other issue. The other issue is that the reviewer saw one of my videos and had no idea about my plans for my truck. I mean, he had zero. He watched one video and basically called me out. And he doesn't know my experience from working on trucks or Jeeps and not even knowing my experience of working for FCA. You know, through all my experiences like that, I've gained a lot of knowledge and stuff. So I'm not saying I'm stupid, but at the same time, I'm not saying I know everything. I'm, I really am happy to, you know, do a live feed or even have a beer with him. I think he's actually probably, he's probably not really a bad, bad reporter. A little on the, you know, too far without really knowing, you know, my plans for my truck and not even knowing my experience of off-roading. Lastly, I'd like to actually say his live feed with all terrain nations. He expressed, you know, basically my lack of trust in GM um, and questioning my trust in GM and with my $60,000 truck yes that is a lot of money uh, but it's not really the trust issue that I have with GM if you want to go with trust we can talk about the 5.3 motor um, and their AF or the active fuel managed system it, I mean we can talk about that but that's an, that can be a whole other video um, but again he talks about but doesn't have any idea what my plans are for this truck um, so please go watch all these videos come back leave me a, a comment down below did I do the right thing by extending my uh, my hose and I think a lot of you guys really agreed with me um, some people not so much but again it could be they trust GM more than anything you know they're just a you know give me your money I don't want to say give me your money but they are definitely a um, these videos and let me know your thoughts because I'm always open for you know dialogue or you know you know talk about them and I'm always open to learn and hopefully he is especially when his channel and my channel are completely opposite and I think that really comes down to a key point from him grabbing my video and basically throwing it out there um, yeah he has a lot of subscribers a lot of subs so you know that does hurt somebody kind of like me without him even knowing again knowing what I'm planning on doing with this truck um, you know I mean it's he goes into warranty stuff a little bit but the other thing if you don't use manufacturer stuff I mean theoretically if you switch out your tires 
it's technically not OEM anymore, uh, especially if you go with a different brand, different size. Um, so, I mean, there is a very fine line. It's a very gray area. So, um, again, I don't think he's a bad journalist, but I think he just needs to kind of learn more on the aftermarket size and, and understand that I'm not one of these people that keep things stock and hopefully, you know, maybe he can learn from me and I can learn from him. And I think that would be a, an awesome, you know, thing to do. And like I said, I'm always down to learn. And like I said, I'm not always right. I'm, I'm wrong in a lot of things. So um, flip side, this is why I like YouTube. I can post this on here and, and you know, and really have a, a good dialogue with you guys. And I think that's awesome, especially when you guys find me on Facebook, Instagram, and everything else. So I'm extremely, I absolutely love YouTube. I think this is really awesome. But again, actually, you know what? I think I'm going to end this one in the garage. So I'll catch you guys in the garage. I should say cheers. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.